Welcome to the homework for lesson one. This is module eight of second grade. Get your name right on here first. Pause the video if you need to. Make sure you have time to do that and then you can just pause it at any time to catch up. Identify the number of sides and angles for each shape. Circle each angle as you count if needed. So circling the angles and it really helps to circle the angles. I really, you really should do it. One, two, three angles. So there's three sides and three angles. This has four sides and one, two, three, four, four angles. This has one, one, two, three, four, five sides and one, two, three, four, five angles. Probably seeing a pattern here. Maybe you noticed it in class. I'm sure you did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. You might have recognized a stop sign, but be careful about that because sometimes, you know, if you don't really pay attention to it, hexagons can look like stop signs. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six angles. Now this guy and some of the other ones that are coming up, corners are easy to think of when they're pointy and sticking out, but sometimes they point in too. So there's an innie, you think of like belly buttons, innies and outies, but there's an innie corner, so the, but it counts. So those, wherever two sides meet each other, that's an angle. So that's uh, one, two, three, four sides and four angles. Oh, here we have an arrow shape. One, two, three, those short ones count too four, five, six, seven sides, and one, two, there isn't any, three, four, five, six, seven angles. This one's going to have a lot of sides. Some of them are short, but you got to count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven angles. Remember, some of these are innies, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now one, two, three, four, five, six sides and angles. One, two, three, four, five, six angles. Study the shapes below and then answer the questions. Uh, I'll give you a, uh, a pro tip here for this particular problem. It works better if you just label these in the beginning because you're going to answer a lot of questions about these. You don't want to have to count them over and over again. So I'm just going to go through all of these and count them and label them. So I'm just, and it's kind of, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that one has twelve. One, two, three, four. Five, six. That's a six. This one is four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one's ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Which shape has the most angles? Well, okay, we just counted them all, right? So it's A, because that one has 12. See what I mean? I hope you see. Uh, which shape has four more angles than shape F? So F has six, and four more is six plus four, so that would be 10. So which one has 10? That's D. Sorry, we're using capital letters, so my A should be a capital A if I'm going to be really careful about it. Which shape has five fewer sides than shape D? Well, if D has 10, five fewer is 10 less. So 10 minus five, that's five, and that's E. 
and how and you you can you can if you want you can even write that equation down 10 minus 5 equals 5 just to show how you figured it out if you really want to or if your teacher wants you to how many more angles does shape a have than shape b so we're looking at shape a is 12 and how many more is a comparison question so that's subtraction we want to find the difference between two numbers that's subtracting and shape B is six, so six more. Or B has six less. A has more, six more, B has six less there. So it's six more, A is six more. Which of these shapes has the same number of angles and sides? Now, the thing is like which two, which shapes have, they all have the same number of, of sides as they do angles but which two have the same number of angles and sides as each other, I think is what the question's really asking. And I'm looking at B has six and F also has six, so B and F. Joseph's teacher said to make shapes with six sides and six angles on his geo board. Shade the shapes that share these attributes and circle the shape that does not belong. Explain why it does not belong. So this attribute word is just, that's just uh, something that you can say, it's a, it's a way you can describe something is an attribute. So I have, um, I have black shoes, that's an attribute. If a shape has six sides, that's an attribute. If it has six angles, that's another attribute. If it's closed, that's another one. If it's flat, that's another attribute. So there's lots of, that's an attribute is just a way to describe something or uh, something, uh, uh, what something has that you can say about it. So uh, we need six sides and six angles. So we're just counting sides and angles here. Uh, and that's, this is a really, This really wouldn't work on a geo board the way they have it drawn. The shapes are kind of in the wrong places, but we'll just go with it. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that seven, we're looking for, it says to circle the one that does not belong. So there we found it right off. That one doesn't belong. And shade the ones that do have six. So let's just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to shade that guy in. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Shade this guy in. And you notice in this homework assignment, in this lesson so far, we haven't been talking about the names of these shapes. That's going to come up later.